Hey YouTube, it's Big Ace Films here. So I'm going to be replacing my old thermostat with the Google Nest thermostat. I decided it was time to get an upgrade and go to something a little bit more modern and something I can control from my phone as well. In case for some reason I ever forgot, if I was at work I left the air on or the heat on, I just wanted to turn it off from some other location. So the easiest way to take off your old thermostat is generally just to go ahead and pull it off very gently and nice and easy. It's going to have the prongs that you see in the back here. It goes into the holes all along here. It's got your two batteries. But anyways, once it's taken off, it is taken off. As you can see, we have all the different wires in here. So before we start messing with these wires, we're gonna go to the circuit breaker. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off. That way we don't jack anything up and we don't screw ourselves over by getting hurt. Every house is gonna have a circuit breaker. It doesn't matter. It's just either gonna be in a spare bedroom, utility room, or the garage. You're just gonna have to look for it and find out where your circuit breaker is. If not, you're trying to look for the switch that's on the actual central heat and air, that also has a switch. But mine's hard to get to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the circuit breaker. I'm gonna find the AC, central heat and air. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Now the wiring is off. It's always good to make sure you take a picture of what exactly your wires look like and where they're connected so later on down the road you can go ahead and take a look at your diagram and figure out where exactly all the wires were. If you have precision screwdrivers you're probably going to want to go ahead and use them for this. Make sure you get all the wires out. So the wires are kind of small and you want to make sure if yours doesn't have that much leeway or that much wiggle room that you don't make sure that they don't fall back inside of the wall because that's going to be a pain trying to fish those back out once you go ahead and take this off. Now we got the wires undone, we're going to go ahead and unscrew the mount from the wall. Google Nest came with a mount and came with the actual Google Nest thermostat as well and the tools to put it in which you really don't need anything besides just this entire kit to install it on the wall. So when you get your Google Nest thermostat you're going to go ahead and need to download the app on your phone and it's going to have the installation guide on it. All you're going to do is take a look see find it and start downloading it. So this trim plate has a level in there, a little bubble. You just want to make sure that it's centered just right how you want it. Since my wires weren't fitting too good and these were longer than the brown ones, I trimmed all these back and now I'm just going ahead and I'm stripping the ends three eighths of an inch with the guide wanted. That way everything is even and I can tuck it back into the wall like it needs to be tucked back into. So now everything is going to look nice and neat. So now that I got all the wires tucked in and it's pretty flush here, my nice front here that I'm going to push on is going to fit no problem with that. It's just going to go on and it's going to sink on, click in, and it's going to be nice and easy. All right, so we've got power. Then we're gonna check the app. Make sure everything's working properly. So this is what the app 
app looks like. It's gonna ask you what language you want. Of course you want English. You gonna press on it, confirm your choice, English. Set up as equipment. Are you a nest homeowner? It's a single fuel. Here, we have everything hooked up. Fan, the heat pump, power, 24 volt common, heat and cool for the yellow. So everything is good. Heat pump, heat on, really heating, heat pump, thing, key, your system. Once you have the app set up and everything's connected, it's going to take you through the troubleshooting and it's going to take you through all the tests just to make sure everything's good. It takes you through the fan, takes you through the air conditioning and takes you through the heat. So right now I just did the fan and the air conditioning. Now it's going to go over to the heat. Before it does that, it's just taking a while for the, the, the central air, heat and air to go ahead and rest so it doesn't jack anything up in the system. All right, so I've successfully installed the Google Nest thermostat. The heating works, air conditioning works, and the fan all work. Right now I have it on eco mode, I'm home, temperatures are great here in San Diego, so not much of an issue. But uh, I can control from my phone, and I can also control from here if I want to as well. So it's pretty nice, it's a pretty good gig.